Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about um, a quick trick that I've learned in Squarespace to how to hide the dates on your blog posts. Um, but first, before I show you, let's talk about why we might want to do that. There's two big benefits to hiding the dates on your Squarespace blog posts. So the first benefit that we're going to see is that suddenly your blog has become a bank of evergreen content. So as soon as we hide the dates, Nobody knows when a certain post came out, and if you're writing great content that's gonna be evergreen and applicable no matter what year, no matter what season, you're gonna be able to use and reuse that content like crazy. It's gonna make your editorial life so much easier. The second reason you might wanna do it is if you're kind of an inconsistent blogger, and a lot of us are. So if you don't have the dates on the posts and your visitors can't scroll back and see how long it's been since you blogged and then how many weeks you went in between, then nobody will know whether you're a wonderful regular daily or weekly blogger or if you're more of an intermittent blogger. All right, let's take a look at how we can make it happen. So removing the dates on your Squarespace website is going to be a little bit different depending on what template you're using, but we're always going to follow the same process. So I'm going to show you on two different templates so you can get us an idea of how the process is the same and how the process is different. If you're having trouble with your specific template, just post a note in the comments below and I'll um, try to pull that correct code for you here. Um, but it's really, really easy to find and really easy to do. So the first thing I want to note is that I'm using the Chrome browser. So we're using Google Chrome browser. You can do this in any browser, um, but the inspector tool is going to look the same as it does for me. It'll look the same for you if you're working with Google Chrome when you try to do this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the design panel on our Squarespace website and we're going to take a look at custom CSS. So this is going to be custom CSS that we can apply to our website. What we're not doing here is we're not changing any functionality. We're not changing the back end. We're just adding some extra style. We're telling the website what it needs to look like. Now, in this case, what it needs to look like is it needs to not display the dates. We don't want those dates on there. So we're going to come over to our post and we're going to hover our cursor just right over the item that we're looking at, in this case the date, and we're going to right click and then click inspect. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up the code inspector. And if we've been hovering over the correct thing, we're going to see that if we come in here, we can highlight this whole area where our date lives. Now we, again, we don't want that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look over in our styles section to see how we can talk to this particular area here. So in this case, we'll look at the first line here and it's this tweak blog text alignment center time date call out. And just the part that's in black, this is the part where we want to actually target our specific code. So we're going to click here. We're going to, again, go back and highlight the part that was in black. We're going to hit copy. Come back over here. We're going to hit paste. And now we know how we can target just that date section, just the area we're looking for. The next thing you're going to do is we're going to open our CSS argument using a bracket. And Squarespace is great because they give you the closing bracket automatically. And we're going to hit return. So now we've got space here. We can write any custom CSS code. So you could use the same thing if you wanted to change the font, the change the color, change the size of your date. In this case, we're going to hide it. And then all you need to do is type in the code display. So how do we want it to display? And then none because we don't want it to display. We'll close with a semicolon and we can see over on this side that um, thanks to Squarespace's live CSS editor, we can see it worked. Post date is gone. Perfect. We'll close out of our inspector. We'll hit save and we can leave the custom CSS panel. No dates are going to show on our blog now. Okay. Let's take a look at a different theme. So now we're going to take a look at another demo site on the Montauk theme. 
Same thing, we're in Google Chrome. We're going to come over to Custom CSS. We're going to have our um, panel here. And again, we're going to put our cursor over where that date is. We're going to right click. We're going to click Inspect. And again, we've got this date section here where it's highlighted. Now, as we can see, um, if, we, if we highlight the whole section, as we can see, it's a little bit different text. And that's why we have to do this step of inspecting to find out what the code is to target that particular date on that template. This should be consistent template to template, but it's going to be different between the different Squarespace templates. So again, we're going to highlight only the part that's black. We're going to copy it and paste it here. We're going to open our CSS argument. We're going to say display none. We see that it disappears here. We'll close with a semicolon for good measure. And we're done. We can hit save and we no longer have the dates on our blog posts.